Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel. To everybody new, hello and welcome and happy Friday. So I have Bindi here. Um, to those of you new, I will introduce this sweet girl. Bindi is a full-bodied silicone. She is the Willow Awake Sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she was painted by Jenny Lee of Wee Baby's Nursery. So, um, in the last video that I did with her, I changed her into this outfit that I kind of concocted together. <laughs> it's a little um, jockety romper. It's in a rust color and it has um, cream polka dots on it and on the little suspenders it has little ruffles it's in a corduroy so it's really cute and then I paired it with this um turtleneck as you can see here this is a turtleneck um by loved baby in a beige and then the big decision was um I had put cream tights on her and they really didn't look great um the tights were by H&M, actually, and they were very kind of baggy here around the legs. And just with this particular outfit, they didn't really go. And um, I wound up changing her, as, and many of you had suggested as I was reading the comments over the next few days. Um, and you were spot on um, because right after the video, I took the tights off and I put on this, these socks. And these are Oscar shoes, my little boy silicone, but I think really um, these type of classic like baby boot shoes and they have the pom-poms, they're in a beige color. Uh, I think that they are really gender, more of a gender neutral um, as a classic baby shoe, just like boys can wear the little T-strap shoes. Um, and I just love this look because it's, you know, it's just my style. It's something that I put together on myself. You know, I love to wear like, you know, cute little short outfits and then put like work boots on for, per se. I mean, not that these are work boots, but I don't know. I just, I like the look. <laughs> so anyway, speaking of shoes... I had an order come in from the children's salon, which was like oh, super exciting to open that box to those of you, any of you that have ordered from the children's salon, you know, even if you order one thing, it just comes number one very quickly and they just present what they send so beautifully. Um, so it was like opening a giant box of chocolates or something. So I got a bunch of footwear for Bindi, um, because she's, you know, she's fair, she's fairly new. I mean, I think I, I believe I got her back in October. Um, but there was some, oh, extenuating <laughs> circumstances, um, I guess, you should say there's just been a lot um of you know confusion going i don't know but anyways um it's you know neither here nor there i'm really just finally now actually getting to settle down and enjoy this little sweetie and oh gosh i feel like i'm again in love with her like the moment i opened her up um, and picked her up into my arms for those of you that have watched that box opening, you know, that magic moment happened. And then, um, you know, there's always stuff that goes on behind the scenes, whether you're, you know, not always, but there can sometimes, and you know, in this hobby, it's an emotional hobby and we're dealing with human beings so whether you're it you're buying from an artist or on the second market like 
stuff comes up that like you couldn't even make up if you tried kind of so to speak and it affects us greatly um and when just make sure you can yeah um and when you're dealing with you know um the high cost of these dolls as well for a lot of us it's a lot on the line so you've got the emotional part of it because it's you know it's like you know they're they're babies to us i mean obviously not real babies but you know they have they have a sentiment value to us aside from um the monetary value that i should say um i think that's probably in anything you collect if you've got a you know, rare, you know, a uh, piece of wool or, or jewelry or whatever. People get attached to their things, but, you know, more so, um, I think because the idea of it and those of us that role play, like, I know I personally, I kind of role play in my head. I have a little, like, story and journey for each baby of like how they arrived you know depending on where I adopted them from and you know yada 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 um so external things you know can play into that but anyways um and trust me you know a lot of things you just you don't hear about because you know people aren't gonna you know People have, you know, a lot of collectors just, they have integrity and they're not going to air their dirty laundry, so to speak, or anyone else's dirty laundry, so to speak. Personally, um, that kind of person, um, you know, so anyways, um, and I think, you know, a lot of us, you know, you just don't hear a lot of the things, um, so you never know, oh, you never know what's going on behind the camera, behind the scenes, um, not only in the doll collecting, but in somebody's life, et cetera, et cetera. I'm probably making no sense. Let's get to the shoes. <laughs> what I want to do is there are, oh, so there's six pairs of shoes. They're all from Mayoral, uh, the brand. They're all from the children's salon, but they are all Mayoral brand. Um, I'm going to show you the one pair that's for Oscar and then Bindi got the rest and reason being is because, um, I've had so few baby girls in my nursery and especially since I really started getting into the, the clothes and fashion and everything. So I really do not have any staple quote shoes in you know for a little girl's wardrobe so but I did snack these up for Oscar because he doesn't have anything like them and they were just too cute to pass up so these are for my little boy Oscar and they are a tan um patent leather with a little bit of probably supposed to be suede I don't think it's real suede though let's see if I'm not getting a good view of them. Um, and I don't know. They almost have that saddle shoe look, but they have this, you know, thing, um, strap across the front. And then they Velcro on the side. They have the little buckle. So they're super, super cute. And they are in, uh, these are a size 15. So they're the smallest size. And I think, um, like on the... On the children's salon, the size says one, uh, no, zero to two months, I think it says. Or some of them might say size 15, and some of them might say zero to two months on them. And those, that's the small newborn size. But they're all, actually, I'm looking at all of these, are all size 15. So then, in more of wintery shoes um uh, here is for bindi i got these adorable little sneakers let's take them out they're gold um <laughs> they have some sparkle and bling and they have really pretty 
um, like satiny ribbons and the back they have, it looks like little bear head with, um, ears. It's a super cute. They actually say mayoral across the back. They're so, <laughs> they're so cute and so bling. These would actually look cute, uh, um, I think with this outfit, just to girl it up a little bit. Let's see. Um, cause I'm gonna, why I wanted to show the shoes was not just to show off shoes, but, um, I wanted to, cause I got sandals and I wanted to actually try them on her foot and show you all the way each style of sandal fits. Cause I'm curious myself. And then any of you that have a willow sculpt or, um, you know, a, a silicone doll with approximately this size feet. I mean, I feel like they're all different. All sculpts are different. You know, she has, um, she's in the super soft silicone and she's got pretty big feet and also this one foot because her toes are like curled under. It's very fat. <laughs> Sorry, Bindi, but it is, it's a very chubby foot, so it's a different kind of size and shape, not size, but like, you know, width than the other one, so I think shoes are a little more difficult, um, oh, you know what, okay, I pulled her socks off, hold on. We'll put the sneakers on her at the end because then that's what she'll stay in. These two cute little feetsies. She's definitely got the jiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I was standing today with her Holt and her just like looking in the mirror. Um, and she just looks so real in my arms and the way she moves, the way she feels. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I really love her. Um... Okay, so I got little red sandals for her. These are so cute, and I'll show you the style. So these have, these are like little leather sandals, or I don't know that may, these are real leather, but um, they have a, the gold like on the bottom, on the inside, and the outside, actually. And um, they have like a crisscross in the front with a little um ruffle red ruffle and that's actually in ma a material so it's soft it's not like stiff a stiff ruffle so let's see what this style sandal how this fits and again these are a size 15 so the mayor shoes are definitely like they're very good in their footwear as far as fitting a small newborn's foot to fit our baby's feet. I've had luck with Oscar. Um, I learned this from um, my dear friend Kelly over at Kelly Girl. Thank you, Kelly. I know I'm sure at a certain point she'll definitely be watching this shoe video. <laughs> I have to guess. Um so we're just going to stick her little footsie in there. And yeah, see, this one's much looser. <laughs> but I, I'm curious to see how she's going to do in sandals here. Yeah, it's like, you know, this foot's like a lot, got a lot more give in it. And so, but she looks cute in sandals. I feel like they still look a little big, but heck. On a baby, on an infant, they're going to look big till they grow into them. Um, I mean, I feel like the Willow is more like a three-month size baby. Um, certainly not a newborn size. I mean, this would be one whopping newborn baby to <laughs> push out even or even carry in there and quite long. But, I mean, I'm sure... There's been big babies born in the world. But anyway, so that's what these look. They just, they look really cute. And for the most part, I will put shoes on for, um, for pictures and a video. And then that's it. I take them off. And 
So in the summer, my babies are definitely barefoot for the most part. And this has like a tag that you just cut off on the bottom. But anyways, I'm not going to take the time to put this all back together. I will do them all when the video is over. So I'm not taking up your time. So then I got sandals in a yellow. And they're a different style than the red. They have um, one strap across the top here. Oops. And they have um, little yellow flowers on the top of them. The flower is in the leather or pleather material. And so let's see what this style, because um, you know how different style shoes, even though, though they're this all the same size, the different styles will fit different babies in different ways. And <laughs> her toes don't even come up. Um, through these. Well, not these because they're curled up, but let's see. Let's see about this footsies. I just want to see that they'll look cute at least for pictures, right? What do you think, Bindi? Yeah, those look cute. Oh, they definitely do. They look cute. Let's pick her up for a second. Oh, baby girl. Oh, you're a chunker. So let's see if we can... <laughs> That's what the little sandals look like on her. So, yeah, you know, they, her toes don't come completely out the side. But I think they, um, they are acceptably cute. <laughs> That's what I think. And I know it sounds kind of silly, like bothering getting all these shoes because that, you know, I just, you know, <laughs> stated I don't really keep my babies in them. But this is the fun of it. To me, like just having them there, I feel like they're a little collector's item in themselves, the clothing, the shoes, the accessories. And it's just nice to have variety and different colors and styles that will go with different outfits for photos and videos because for me like that's what I do with my dolls you know I that's the main way that I enjoy my collection is taking taking photo shoots and making videos so I'm shopping <laughs> for them and then I got this style sandal, which I think is my favorite. There's a glare here. Um, looking ones. Um, so they have like th a three crisscross strap across and then like a little, almost like supposed to be a bow and they're in the gold. I'm sorry, this is like blurry because my camera... Ah, oh, there we go. This whole time it was, I could have just tapped it. I'm sorry. I'll show you the other ones close up again. Aren't these so sweet? So this is my favorite style and what I picked. Let's see how it looks on Bindi. Let's see how they, you know, they this style fits. Oh, yeah. Aw. I can't wait for summer. <laughs> can't wait for summer, spring, for more than one reason. Oh my gosh. Just to be able to be outside again. Just to go out in the morning with my cup of coffee and sit out there. And oh, just can't wait. You know, we're still we're stuck in so much. Oh, these look adorable. So I do think that... Oops, these are still my feet. These are my favorite style. <laughs> you get those little toesies in there. They're my favorite style, even on her, I think. Um, as far as all the sandals. I don't know why. I just like these. And they did have them in a pink and 
They might have these in another color, color like yellow and stuff. I just, I wanted to get a variety. I didn't want to get all the same style sandal. Um, but I do need a pink. So I might get the pale pink in these. And probably have to wait till next month because I've done a bit of shopping this month. And most of it really is... Um, I'm going to make a video for my channel membership for my Pixie Squad to give more details. But as you all know, um, I got my new wave oven and I'm now ordering all my painting supplies. Um, so, yeah, that's like, yeah, going to be a big expense this month and kits and everything so um yeah it, I will have to wait to shop for more sandals I think but if I can if they still have because granted they you know they I think like on the little sandals especially the small sizes they come and they do not to say they won't get more in but and last but not least I got these and they are not a sandal, but they're a little shoe. I do have a really cute pair of dress shoes in white. Um, and I have a pair of pale pink kind of, you know, Mary Jane type dress shoes. None of them have the bow like this. No, the white ones do. The white ones are really fancy. I, I think I can pull them out. They're not mayoral. They're like a... Uh, a fancier brown but these are the shoe you know little shoes so they're kind of like mary jeans and they have the strap across and they have a big um pretty bow on them and they are in an ivory color so they're like a beige basically but this is what they consider ivory so they're super cute these are another pair of shoes that i said thought would go cute with this outfit it definitely but I again I kind of like the boot idea a little more just for this particular outfit um because it keeps it more um like rustic looking than the fancy shoe hold on I want to pull out the white shoes because I know I know where they are I've never shared these before and I was so excited when I got them I don't know why I was thinking they were, like, going to be okay for a boy. Because <laughs> I got them for Oscar. But they're really not a boy's shoe. Look at these. Fancy schmancy shoes. Aren't those gorgeous? Like, you all tell me. What do you think? Would you put these on a boy? Like, I guess. I guess you could, right? I guess these could go either way, or maybe they are meant for a boy, and they're just fancy. I'm not really sure, but either way, I love this style shoe. The lace kind of goes in and out down the front, um, and, you know, they have big lace bows, and it's almost like a, a boot look, you know, in, in that, but aren't they adorable? So I do have, you know, white dressy shoes for her. I didn't need white. I have red. I have pink just from, you know, having the Reborn dolls. I have had some girls and I do have some shoes. But again, hey, I think girls need a variety of shoes. <laughs> you know, I, you know, a a woman's wardrobe needs um even a boy's i i just think we need wardrobes they're important <laughs> i don't know as all as many of you that have been following me for some time know and i you know i even talked about this in the last video when i was dressing bindi but i have just been having a ball the past year and a half or so with you know the whole fashion thing and kind of Learning where to shop for baby clothes. 
She's got the weak of the feet. She does. She's got the pickle. Oh, yeah, it was one thing that I thought, like, that I wasn't going to be keen on, um, you know, in wanting a willow sculpt. But it just turns out to be, I mean, all in all, I really, I'll have to do a whole video on the three silicones that I have and comparing, like, the, the actual silicone and the movement and things. Um, like, I prefer fur like structure especially in like a more newborn baby but I like the feel I I would say more than anything I mean her her legs can go uh, into awkward um positions easily like you know when you're moving her and stuff like it doesn't you know, necessarily look that realistic, but <laughs> you're giving up, you know, one thing for the other and the feel of her legs dangling. And when I'm holding her in my arms and the way her legs dangle over my arms or like when I have her on, you know, my side like this and I'm just if you all can see, I don't know, it's close up, but, um, and the way that a baby feels to me is like, is just as important as the way a baby looks. So, um, you know, I, and the fact that I have one kind of body style as far as the full body silicone in Oscar, well, the full size, and I have a premium as well, which I adore as well. But in, I'm saying in more of like a, you know, not a premium. And the Willow is a, a very different body style. Um, and so I love having them both, if that makes sense. Um, because that's, you know, I love the diversity and... I don't know. I think it's another reason too why I'm just really excited to finally get to paint because I got so burnt out going through all the buying and selling um, because it's just so hard to resist all the different sculpts that you want to see and enjoy and get to know, of course, your preferences. And things change as you go along and sometimes you flip-flop or I, I should say I flip-flop, back and forth between things, to, you know, that I prefer and stuff. And, you know, not only does it get costly because, you know, you can often, you know, take a heavy loss and, you know, selling on the second market and all that. And it's also a lot, you know, of having to list and sell and pack boxes and all of that. And then especially what's gone on in the past, you know, two years now, but it's really gotten to a bad point with sellers getting scammed. And it's scary. It's really scary to sell on the second market as a reputable seller. Um, it, it's just a really scary thought and then you know we want to stick to selling to people we know and that has its drawbacks as well because then it, there's a more of an emotional involvement and component um and expectations and things between friends and doesn't always you know I mean I think I'm not saying I definitely recommend buying and selling from people you know for sure just getting us this over this like without a doubt like that's the you know safest way um in my opinion to you know buy or sell is you know make sure you know that the seller or artist is reputable and you know preferably that it's somebody that you really know or know of um so that's not what I mean by that. I'm just saying that 
it all of it tends to have its drawbacks and um for me personally uh you know with everything else going on and like like there was a period of time and that I was doing a you know I mean what did, I had like almost a two year run of just like box opening after box opening you know, there's so many babies coming in and out of my nursery and I don't regret that at all it was enjoyable I've enjoyed every doll that has come through my nursery and it's you know given me a lot of experience in buying and selling as well as getting to see so many artists work and so many different sculpts and stuff like that so I don't regret it at all. I just needed to slow down. So now I'm excited to, you know, be taking the next journey. And when I have a hankering for a specific sculpt, well, I can try and paint it myself. And <laughs> that's the next chapter. So we'll see how that goes. And I think the sneakers also look adorable on Sweet Bindi. I think I like Oscar shoes a little bit better um, with this. But anyway, she's probably going to get into some PJs and then maybe a Valentine's outfit. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I am just, like I said, I'm just now starting I feel like my journey here with Bindi and starting to really feel like she's mine and, you know, falling in love with her. Oh my gosh, it's almost 32 minutes. This was a long video. Thank you to everybody that hung in there. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Also, make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And... If you want the lowdown and to support my channel, come on into my channel membership. Click the blue join button next to subscribe or the link down below. Would love to have you in there. It's an exclusive membership. All right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.